I do mean. You do a lot of. Okay. And not enough of this. Mm -hmm. If you're going to keep. You, you sure? Can. Um, carry on. Baby. Uh-uh. My love's Ray Lynn and Girl from Runaway. We have culture, conversation, and community. In today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Zeus Network's Bad Boys LA season one, episode seven. The name of this episode is The More the Merrier. Shout out to me for keeping track, y'all, because y'all know I'd be like, episode, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so listen, y'all, this episode just hops right back into the middle of the fight between Milan Christopher and Carry On. And you know, Milan Christopher got a nice little gut punch in. Um, Carry On looked like he leaped at him when the security got in the mix, but Carry On got beat up and beat down again. Okay, Punk up up to get beat down. And listen, um, it's just giving like punching bag. It's giving very much like I like to do this in my spare time because I'm getting joy out of it or something, something weird. Carry on lets it be known that he was eating those, which is secretly cold for getting beat up. Carry on's outside. Um, Darrell comes out to, I guess, mediate and do his little, you know, do his little one two, his drunken one two. And Carry on is just like, yeah, I'm just getting in his head. You know what I mean? Because if, if I could take a punch, they ain't gonna know when I'm in, I'm gonna be able to punch back. And Darrell is like, but you jumped up. You you initiated that fight. How come you 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 want to just keep getting beat up? I don't understand. He's like, I ain't getting beat up. I ain't getting beat up. Like just the delusion, the level of delusion for me is giving very much like mental health issues. I don't know if he was just drunk, but he starts making it about this is why I don't choose sides because they was trying to fight me because of this, and now he's trying to fight me because of this. But like, what does that have to do essentially with? It? you running up on him you know what i'm saying like y'all disagreement was about talent and him not trusting that you could bounce the song or no pro tools you get what i mean like he's just grasping for straws to make it make sense and i think darrell darrell was picking up on the hurt he was just like honestly like nothing is tormenting you he's just like no nothing is tormenting me and i and i applaud darrell for you know, being able to kind of feel that and read that and reach out to him in that way, although he denied and lied and said nothing is tormenting to him, bro. It's something. <laughs> it's very much something. At the same time, Milan is upstairs with um, Curtis, and I guess Curtis was trying to calm him down. Milan comes back downstairs, and Milan is still very much upset, but you can see, like, he's just trying to get through the scene. Curtis is in a confessional, like, listen, man, we got to get the business. This is a brand. We got a hit song, y'all. We have a hit song. I'm like, where is the hit at? Okay, hit maker. Where, what hit? They are downstairs now, and I guess Mula tried to, like, tag team. I guess they were just taking on the straight man role and kind of, like, bring some level-headedness, if you will, into the conversation. And he was just like, y'all, we are a brand. We're supposed to be the bad boys like we're grown men at the end of the day we can get through a conversation like this is getting to be too much you know what i mean like we should be able to make this work moolah walks in on um Relly and carry on it's like nah 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 we're not we're not doing this outside camera time drunk shit let's go let's talk about it it's getting very much like we need to wrap this up because i'm trying to go to sleep and y'all playing now they're all gathered back around into the living room and the realm you know, starts it off again with, okay, so y'all fought, now what, my line, what we gonna do? Well, he was a little bit trying to stir the pot, talking about walking through the ends, and I mean, you caught him this, and you did that, and I wanted to know who hit who, and what, what, what. You know, they started trying to do a little bit of bickering, like, he called you out, but you hit me first. Well, I was like, nah, forget all that. You know what I'm saying? We've been filming, and I'm ready to end it. You know what I mean? Like, let's stop, let's move on from there. He made some sense. He was like, listen, we all don't know each other. We're trying to get to know each other. And it's, it's weird, like, this is weird for us to be fighting like this. This is very weird energy like no it really is though like y'all are still men at the end of the day like I feel like the cattiness bickering is like something that women do unfortunately but even that like it's just too much really makes a good point by saying you know me and Milan we fought we made up 15 minutes after that you know what I mean me and so and so fought we made up 15 minutes after that you know and, I, and, and Milan I, you know I really feel like you know you were the leader I respected you as leader because you've done this before and can we get past this so Milan like you know rushes up apology but you know what yeah because I apologize bro because at the end of the day I was just really upset because my feelings was hurt because I thought I liked you and I thought I was like you know putting on for you and you just started coming at me crazy to, you know talking about my family and I was wrong I mean not my family talking about me doing porn and I'm talking 
watch a family like I was wrong for that I apologize he, then he said but but it's no buts but but anyway like Milan which one is it now um you know he I think that he apologized in a way that he was able to in that moment he apologized to the other guys at the house about the fashion show he was just like listen y'all I apologize for that it was just too much I was emotional carry on is like blowing raspberries just like you know what I mean they, they ended the scene because carry on is not gonna be able to get it the thing that was hilarious about this episode was that the real was eating carry on up in the confessionals because he keep getting beat up y'all y'all know he got that little accent like girl the real was on his neck in the confessionals this episode the real tries to talk to carry on again he's like listen bro you can't keep being so antagonistic and you scary i don't know nobody who's scary people who scary usually don't uh you know talk a lot of shit he was just like I, i'm not scary i'm just trying to get in his mind i'm playing a mental game like yeah but like you gotta play a physical game too bro because you keep getting beat up and carry on is not seeing it that way and i kind of i kind of appreciate it like he's just like yeah so what i'm gonna still say what i want to say i'm gonna still do what i want to do carry on gives very much glutton for punishment though and you know the just being messy but you ran up on him but you didn't you didn't even throw a punch how, how does that work it was just hilarious and i'm just sitting here watching like now carry on carry on so and then immediately after that milan christopher throws out hit the fact that that you know he has some gifts for them he goes upstairs to go get his sex toy products he gives the guys pocket poochies you know he is you know giving them lube and they're like yeah i don't need this because i get real pee i get real pee like oh push and pee speaking of pushing pee y'all this is a side note this is not gonna be for everybody but how about nature boy got locked up last week girl i wanted to cover that but um you know anyway moving right along talking about some pushing three child not pushing three up from the jail cell anyway back on track to what we talking about he gives the boys replicas of his peen um, we talked about that last episode, but then we actually saw it. We actually got it. He's like, yep, it's nine and a half inches. I actually looked it up. They're like $80, $80 um, ding-dongs. Then he said something else about, he has a, um, he gave the boys pocket booty holes, which is like, that's a replica of your booty hole. <laughs> I want to know the process, okay? Somebody drop down in the comments and, and then let's, let's brainstorm about the process. How you get the exact replica of a booty hole? The next thing, y'all, we have Blurred Out Lemmy and the producer. And pretty much, the, he's just talking about, yeah, you know, we, we lost a couple people, y'all. But, you know, we have to get the right mix. And I think that was a play on Jonathan Wright, which is like, Lemmy, you're so corny. Pretty much the same. We have a new bad boy, blah, 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 blah. And in comes Jonathan. Jonathan Wright, baby. Jonathan's like, my name is Jonathan Wright. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I said, but 23 where? 2023 20, and, and dog years, nigga. What? 23 years old. And Jonathan, let me say something. He's talented, undeniable. But 23, y'all. Anyway, he comes in. He's all jiggy and cute. You know what I mean? He's looking like, you know, he's looking like who he's looking like. Boys are really kind of excited to see him, which is like, you know, they were kind of geeked up. Like, okay, Jonathan because he's very well known and like i said it's an undeniable talent and then immediately he's like what's up with these rooms what are these rooms looking like? like i'm like oh shit we already know where that's going we we i understood i understood immediately i think my line asked new too because immediately okay it it, it, it switched carry on his hype he's like we got somebody else from texas in here you know another texas tornado he said something along the lines of like He's going to show people what I could do. Like, well, why he got to show people what you could do? You could just show anyway. Upstairs, the girls, or well, the boys, the boys are showing him the rooms or whatever the case. They carry on a uh, steady talking. Yeah. Oh, he do hair. Oh, he got a pair of scissors. He about to be snip, snipping, snipping somebody from around here. And, and, and you can just see the enthusiasm that carry on is having to see Milan sweat in his way. I instantly knew, instantly that it was about to be some BS. Well, is giving a tour. Milan just gets up from the table and closes the door. Jonathan barges right in like, oh, what's this? Oh, this is my, oh, this must be my room. This must be our room. We must be sharing this. He like, nah, I stink. This is my room. I ain't, I ain't sharing room with nobody, not let's be effing. And the was sitting there looking like, you know, with the big eyes. Girl, Jonathan gets comfy in his outside clothes on his bed with his socks, twinkling his toes on the bed. Anthony and they all laying around lounging. Like, I ain't never seen no scene with y'all laying on all on my last bed. Now they all 
you know, rallied up against Milan. You know what I mean? You know, just, you know, it's just a moment. So he's like, all right, we, we'll figure it out later. Let's just go downstairs and have some drinks. So they have a shot. So Jonathan kind of chills and like, oh, so what's going on? Who, who Kirk Franklin's son? He was talking about Curtis. He was like, no, this is Curtis, not, this is Curtis, not Kirk Franklin's son. You know, gotta had to let it be known because, you know, gotta, 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 gotta. And, um, it was just cute. They were taking a shot because, you know, we got the Casamigos. Girl, they go downstairs. It's Svetka Vodka, which, I mean, it's not Burnett's, but baby, um, I can't do hard alcohol anyway. Like, that's not my twist. But if I was doing hard alcohol, it certainly wouldn't be no damn Svetka. Jonathan pretty much just says, you know, I'm a lit person. I like to have fun. I'm not into all that drama. I'm not into nothing corny. Then he starts off questioning who the leader. Everybody was like, nobody. But we all know Milan was talking about I'm the leader in this house. Now he didn't, just the day before he said he wasn't the leader. Now it's like, all right. Uh, nobody's a leader. We all, you know, leaders in our own right. You know what I mean? He, he's coming with his professional voice. Gotta K threw him a lifeline like, yeah, well, you know, Milan, he's the pop pop of the group, so we had to give him the, the best room or whatever the case. And then, um, Jonathan was like, no, the leader of the house is giving Milan. He was just like, no, it's not, it's not me. I'm not the leader like Milan since when. So they're like, well, what's been going on in the house? They was like, well, we've been having altercations every day. So they start running down the altercations. Well, Milan started running down the altercations, and so and so and so and so. And Mula was like, "You, um, I got into an altercation," and he was like, "Who you, who you get into it with?" He was like, "Kurt Franklin's son." And Mula starts explaining this whole thing like, I "Don't care for the gay stuff." Basically, he was like, "You know, I identify as what I identify with." And, and Jonathan was like, "Yeah, that's the same me." So Gary was like, "Well, who, you know, how do you identify?" And Jonathan was like, "Well, I'm just me. I'm just me." But I like how Jonathan was just like, "I could understand." Well, he didn't really say he could understand Mula's point, but he was just listening. He didn't interject. He didn't do any of that. But um, when he when Carry On said that, you know, I just identify as me, he was like, well, I agree with that. You know, I got a point. You know, you got a point. And Jonathan seems like he's fair. Jonathan seems like he's fair. Jonathan seems like he could be a bop. You know what I mean? We already know he's not going to be on the show long, but like, I can see how Milan would be hating. Like, let's keep it real. Jonathan has star power. You know what I mean? And, and and I know that people say like celebrity makeup artists and celebrity stylists or celebrity hairstylists, whatever the case, it's just like, oh, you're just in the background. But Jonathan is known to be out here with the girls, moving around on TikTok. Like, you know what I mean? He could, he he has his own name for himself. And like I said, his talent is undeniable. I mentioned something about you were supposed to do an interview. You, 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 you know, you you played me for the interview, da 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 They do that quick little thing. Jonathan's in a, in a confessional life. It was given, he was about to get beautiful. Up. I was like, oh, okay. But after they talk about the whole little carry on situation, Jonathan says, Well, girl, I'm still stuck on my line. And then Gutter was like, Oh my god, like I read that completely wrong. What he was meaning by that was like, Yeah, he's on he's here to be on motherfucking Milan's neck. You know what I mean? I think I think Gutter was just a little starstruck, maybe like, oh my god, friend, like I'm about to get my hair done. And the next episode, we see Gutter's uh, braids is out immediately. Them braids was fresh, baby. Them braids came out, and I'll be the same. I'll do the same thing. They trying to get their hair done, carrying like you do dreads, which blows me because they're not dreads, they're locks. Um, you know what I mean? Like you could just tell that the girls are here for Miss Jonathan. Milana's like, why are you stuck on me? You know what I mean? Why are you worried about me? And Jonathan's like, Milana, what are we gonna do? We sharing or what? That is it, gut is in a confessional like girl. He does Nicki Minaj hair. What do you think he was about to sleep at? And I agree, like, girl, what? So they go back upstairs and he's in the closet like, where I'm gonna put my bags. So, like that side look like it's done. I just feel like I need my own little side over here. And like, what we gonna do, Milan? He kind of like puts his hand up on Milan. Like, what we gonna do? It was like a cute little grin. It was friendly. He he wasn't trying to put him out. That's some real bad bad boy, bad girl thing. Put you out, throwing a mattress in the pool, walling. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't trying to do all that. He just said, we could share. And I feel like he could have shared with Jonathan. Like, girl, are you kidding me? Like... Jonathan is big as hell. What you thought you was about to have him sleep on a twin size mattress? Like, no. That room is big with two bathrooms. And I mean, I don't know if it was two beds in there. That's probably a different story. I, I do not know, but you already know where that's coming from. Natalie putting uh, Sydney and Judy in the same room. Girl, that, that was so produced and it was production that was doing all of that. That's why Lemmy came out with the blur face. Like, we're gonna do things the right way. You know what I mean? So. They wanted, they planned this clearly. Darrell was standing over in the corner, just looking like a drunken gazelle girl. He just, he here for us. So what we gonna do? What we gonna do? We gonna share 
or now let, drop down in the comments let me know what y'all would have done you think that he should have just shared the room because he wasn't trying to bow guard him was he i don't know i might be reading it wrong like gutter let me know drop down in the comments so at the so the rest of the guys are at the table outside like you know i didn't have any gay friends before this and they're pretty much kind of like just reflecting and curtis was like yeah gutter is really cool like gutter is my new gay friend he was like yup you just said it on national tv they was just outside smoking chilling them they're still pressing them like you know um so we sharing are we sharing because i'm trying to he was really trying to be nice like i'm letting you know we're not sharing and it's gonna be beef or whatever jonathan backed off and was like i'm going to a hotel room tonight but best believe i'm coming back for that room tomorrow and jonathan milan none of them really need to be fighting for a bid you know what i mean when we, reality tv was a thing it was reality tv was golden was people getting their beds and this that and the third it was like people from the like from wherever whatever kind of walks in life you know what i'm saying like this is clearly for entertainment like Y'all really do not need to be fighting over no bed. Y'all can go and purchase and do and move and groove. So, you know, it is what it is. I honestly feel like it's a little bit beneath Jonathan. And I'm not saying any of the other guys. Like, we're, like I'm talking about talent. I'm talking about skill. If you're a rapper, then you have a certain level of skills and notoriety, right? Like, Jonathan is very known and respected in his, in his industry, although not rap and blah 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 if we're talking about industry to industry with respectability politics jonathan's above milan period and the next scene or the ending scene we have milan facetime and rio inviting him to this pool party i forgot to mention that try they having them some little pool party and um you know he was like yeah this dude he trying to press me i need you to pull up and he like yeah rio's one of my gangster booze <laughs> rio is one of my gangster because you know what i'm saying and he basically says listen my leg is messed up i don't want to fight no more and i don't want these people doing nothing weird trying to jump me the jump part okay i can see um the leg part i'm gonna keep it real with y'all my love was in the um the studio remember he grabbed that bottle of casamigos because he had said in the, in the confessional then my leg was hurting so you know what i mean the the security dude jumped on his leg i do remember that um you know but he just feels like he was fighting this whole time you know trying to protect people from being jumped trying to stick up for people and now you know he talking to his friend real like yeah i don't have no allies in the house because i done beat everybody ass like did you really um you know if it was <laughs> if you doing it like that then why don't you beat this ass and keep it pushing but you know real's gonna pull up and i kind of feel for my line a little bit not really but i do feel like you know he was trying to jump in and trying to say you know carry on from getting jumped and he fought Darrell because he felt like Darrell was being bullied. But then you circle back and kind of got too big headed with carry on. So now it's like all the dudes is looking at you like, yeah, well, what you about to do now? What you about to do now? We already know how that's going to go down, y'all. I'm interested to see how it's going to go. Okay. I mean, like, actually, see the footage. We already seen, you know, Jonathan hit somebody with the chair. On. You know, that's just ridiculous. That's what it's giving y'all. <laughs> you know, nothing more, nothing less. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this week's episode. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.